What's up, Sam? How's it going? Here we have one stereo cassette deck. Hey, what's up, Sam? How's it going? Here we have one more patient that we need to take care of. Yamaha KX650. Three head, pretty much very good condition, mint. And it has only one problem. When you press play, the tape would not play. <laughs> Otherwise, all everything else, it's working. So all I have to do is pay some more attention to work on that thing. And since it opened, we're gonna take a look inside. It's pretty much, as always, Yamaha is doing a neat job with this series, and it's really great series of deck. Uh, and I don't know, it got, it has some special kind of display with the lamps. So the display is really mint, crisp. It's all good. So let's see if we can fix this problem. Okay. Uh, so we got a little patient on my little table bench. First thing first that uh, you should do, of course, I removed the four screws. One, two, three, four, and remove the cover, of course. Then we have a lot of other screws that we need to unscrew. Uh, before all that, of course, you should open the door, which I removed already before I opened the deck before. Oops, this door is from the... that. <laughs> Where is the original door? Ah, there it is. Remove the door. It's very simple. It's hooked here. We can see like a, one small hook and the other one and the other side. So just pull it up and remove the door but after you open the cover then you have a five four screws at the bottom uh, one two three and there is fourth so i'm gonna do that right now let me put it in a position that you can see one screw here those are black screws that you need to, I don't know, put it in one place, of course, don't lose it. So we are talking about four black screws from the bottom. They're all the same size. All right, the fourth one is here at the edge, edge of the video. Well, maybe I should put it on the zoom it uh, zoom out a little now i'm recording it on my pixel 5a smartphone so we'll see how it goes those are the screws of course the all those wires were connected and you will have to break all those plastic things to let the wire loose because you're not going to be able to work on the deck if if the wires are not loose we have four more black screws on the top. So right now we are removing the face plate. Okay. The third one is the fourth one. This is the third one. This is the boring part I know, but ha, since I'm here and I don't have so much time for editing and stuff like that. Yeah. So now we have our faceplate somehow. Let me try to zoom it out a little bit. Can we do it? Yeah. Uh, removed like this. And they're advising us to remove all those cables. Uh, I'm gonna do this one it's long and it's getting all right uh, the other two I don't know 
I'm just gonna keep it for now like this. We have to get to the deck. Uh, we're gonna have to unscrew one, two, zoom in. You can see it, of course. Watch that sound. Basically, there are four screws here. One. <laughs> ah, the angle is totally wrong. What can I do? But you, as, as you can see the, the screws kind of white. And there are another two here. Here and here. Yeah, the angle is totally wrong because we have this metal plate here, which I don't want to move right now. We don't have to move it. To get to the deck uh, I would like to work on it when it's connected but I'm gonna unhook it just to show you uh, if you need to replace the belt what, what 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 you have to do so we have those four screws let's do one by one all right Let's see, maybe the, 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 the phone can be moved a little bit. Uh, in some better position. Uh, we don't have much light. Okay, let's work on light. Let's get some a little more light. So, hmm, not so much better, but okay. Let's get to that part, because you need to transport out if you want to replace something or clean it up or see what's wrong with it, I'm like I'm doing it right now. Uh, one of these screws is kind of grounded. There is a wire here, I'll show you right now. I'm gonna remove the screw. see the wire and that wire goes here so yeah and it's short so pay attention to that and those two screws are black from the top and when I unscrew this one the mechanism will be loose now uh, I will unhook all those wires those are probably for the heads Gently wiggle it, jiggle it left, right. There is one more here, but I would prefer to unhook it here. Okay, this one, this one can be unhooked. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to pull this thing a little bit up and try to remove the mechanism gently. Not to ruin some other, oopsie. See, I'm already doing some damage. There's the wire, uh -huh. There's that black wire that I need to pay attention to it. And then I'm gonna unhook this connector. And there is one more at the back. All right, gently, yeah. And there is one more here, right? Okay, that's for the light, door light set light now the mechanism is out I will gently put this thing back here so it stays there until I'm working on the oh. all right oh, it's gonna be fine like that I think so just want to remove it all right well since it's in the place, maybe I'm gonna just put one screw to hold it. It's gonna be one, one, one screw here, just to hold it. Yeah, not to fall apart totally. And then, yeah, we got our mechanism here. I'm gonna need some pad or something. Oopsie, what was that? The alcohol. The alcohol is there. Ok, 
Okay. Now we can do this. I think it's gonna be fine. Not so much light. I don't have proper light, I know. I'll try to put it like this. Maybe we're gonna have it. Uh, who cares? Right now, uh, I already, as I said, removed the door from the deck. It's not that hard. I'll show. I'll show it when I'm gonna assemble it. So it's basically the same, the opposite way. There is one spring that you have to, uh, you know, watch not to lose it. So disassembling this transfer is kind of tricky. It's not that easy as I would want it to be. But again, we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> there is a motor and on that motor there is a belt and that belt goes to these wheels so i don't know what's going on right now but uh, my transport is not doing the good job it's not pulling up the mechanism it's always stuck a little pad. so what's here what did get wrong you know i have to open and uh, one is here, one is here. Alright, I'm gonna lift this plate in the light. I'm gonna check this mechanism. Uh, this belt was not checked. And this one here. Oh, that belt is very loose. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> it's so tiny and small and everything. No, that's very small. Let me take it out. And it's gone. Totally gone. Oh yeah. So tiny and totally gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This one is gonna be too fat. Too fat. This one we would, would be better, but it's very, very big. See if this thing can help. This is something for plumbers. I already see that it's way too big. We are looking at something that is so tiny and small, impossible to find in my collection. Look, I don't have it. I'm gonna, before I order it, I'm gonna try to put this much thicker ring and see how it goes. Uh, as I can see right now, it's not that bad. Let me just try to spin it a little bit. Yeah, okay. We'll see how it goes. If it works a little bit better, then we're going to order our original small belt. All right. Okay. Okay. I tried to reduce the noise in my room as much as I could. <laughs> well, look, I made a mistake. And now I was thinking, should I edit this video? To remove the part where, where I made a mistake so I should look like a clever someone who knows something or should I be sincere and leave it when I mean leave it like I, I made a huge mistake I know and I'm hoping then with this video I'm gonna uh, 
uh, fix it. What I did is uh, I improperly uh, put the main belt on this machine. And now since I have to fix that mistake, we can uh, do disassembling of the mechanism of Yamaha KX650. First thing you need to do, of course, is to remove this door. Uh, you can open it. Now it's working just fine, perfectly. We have this spring here. And I'm gonna just remove it and put it in some secure place where I'll find it. Then I can easily go on this side and pull this plastic a little bit and just remove it. So we got our door removed. All right. Uh, I did record it in previous video that I put belt here, which didn't solve the problem, of course, because the problem is totally different. And if everything works fine, I will order proper belt. But uh, any anyway, the belt will work. It's just gonna scratch a little bit around and it's gonna make probably some weird noise, but it's gonna work. Uh, the thing with this one, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of complicated. I don't know where to start. But anyway, we, we need to remove this cover again. That's for sure, because there are two screws hidden on this side. So again, I'm gonna use some, <clears throat> put some pressure here and release this kind of notch, wherever it is. It's a plasticky part, so be gentle, not to push it too hard, not to break it. But yeah, ah, there you go. <clears throat> then we're gonna remove this. You see that bright orange light? It's powered with this cable. Uh, yeah, the belt that I placed is still here, but it's rubbing a little bit this part here, so it's not the best thing. There are two screws here, one and the other one. To get to this one, there is a uh, one metal part here that we need to unscrew. Let me grab my screwdriver. I don't know what is the purpose of that part, but keep it on secure place. So one screw, other screw. Next, we have those metal holders here that are those screws are here so I'm gonna do this one first see oh. there you go small screw and that metal holder will go away put it on the side we got another one that has a cable going through it we're gonna do the same put the screws here, we're gonna remove it, okay, a little bit like this. So now I have my deck a little bit more opened. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, release those wires. This is clever solution to make neat wiring. You see, very clever solution. So those are head wires. I'm gonna keep them on the side. Now we have um, two screws. One is here, one is here. So I'm not sure right now, should I uns unscrew those first from here or the other way around? Um, because I know both, all of them needs to be unscrewed, but let's go with this one. Those side screws, we're gonna put this, and those are the one. They are going here, they are not the same. You have to watch the screws, they are totally not the same. So now we got this 
it's not moving because yeah again we need to screw two of these so now because i was not sure which one should go first i'm just gonna for a moment go back in a past and put this one back and see what's gonna happen if i do it in a i'm gonna unscrew those two first and then like the other two what's gonna happen in that way look those are very long so you can have uh, there are no mistake there uh -huh, uh -huh. this one is already kind of out okay let's go back now wiggle it okay now i'm gonna screw this one so may basically maybe there are it's the same thing i don't know i just wanted to see how it goes this way and that way now uh, because my belt is already hooked here improperly i'm gonna unhook it uh, so and try to release this top. All right. I'm gonna move those. Oh, watch out about this part. Uh, I should talk about this part before, but okay. <laughs> uh, I almost lost it first time. I almost lost it the second time. Bad, bad habit. Well, I'm a web designer. I don't know much about repairing DAX. But here is what I found. Where, where was my mistake? I'm gonna just put it here so you can see it too. So this belt, I put it as you can see to go like this, around this wheel and then like this. And then the, there is a motor that would go here, right? So we got the, the traveling like this. You see, it travels like this, which is wrong because this is a dual capstan Casadec, not all the reverse Casadec. And this belt, even if it's very good and nice, it's not going to work here. So I need to find another belt and put it in a proper way which I mean it's gonna be going around all both of them. Why? Uh, it's simple as that. If your cassette tape, cassette tape is going in this direction, this is the main one, you see, it's a little bit larger than this one. It's gonna spin like this. And this one, if it doesn't exist, doesn't exist. But if it does exist, it should go together, not like this. <laughs> So I was basically made it to pull the tape on each side. Uh, that's really a rookie mistake and it's stupid. And as I said, I'm a web designer, web master. I don't want to mention a hundred times, but this is not my profession. This is my kind of hobby. So it's allowed for me to make rookie mistakes, to be amateur. Uh, when you are an amateur, everything is allowed, you know? So that's why it's cool to be an ama amateur, you know? Like everybody wants to say, look at this amateur, look what he did. <laughs> Who cares? Because I'm an amateur. But if I do it right and I find the solution, everybody would say, okay, uh, he's clever, he can find it. Yeah, it was bad at first, but you know, he found a way. So I hoping that this video will result properly working Yamaha KX650. So now let's find the belt. And since I'm here, and some of you would ask, where do you find the belt? Well, look, there are some proper stores that would sell you belts. Uh, they would claim they're coming from original factories, stuff, this and that, but I'm not sure. I'm simply not sure, you know. Is that true? Are they coming from the, you know, good factory? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, you know, if you are repairing a top quality Casadec, like let's say $400, $300, then I guess it's kind of okay to give a 20 bucks for a set of 
um, belts. Sometimes you will get a capstans and stuff like that. But if you're repairing like decks like me, some of them are, you know, <laughs> cheaper, some this and that. It's nice to have a bunch of them. And you can get it for 10 bucks, a bunch of these. So those are like a flat belts. And those are like a, you'll get recorder, rubber belts, flat belts, with is uh, four millimeters, 50 pieces. And in all, in this package, those are pretty good belts, you know, like they're not divorced. I got some Chinese, they're basically on a, basically they're falling apart. But those are kind of cool belts. So when you get 50, you will probably find your size of the belt. So you get two of these, that's like a hundred belts. Hey man, you'll find the belt for this one. So let's try, actually I have opened it already, a bunch of it. And I try to, to make myself a little bit neat, so I try to find my uh, some, uh, you know, transparent boxes. Let me zoom it out a little bit. Transparent boxes, so you can put your belts here. Smaller, bigger, those are flat belts. Some of them are five millimeters, some of them are four. We are looking for four millimeters belt. So I already know that those small will not fit and I'm gonna put it away. Those small, really small will not fit. And I'm looking for a uh, kind of longer belt. Uh, I did throw away the original. Hold on a second. Maybe it's still alive. Yes, I did throw it away, but Luckily for you and me, it was on the top of the bin. So look what happens when the belt is totally wasted. I can stretch it like it's gonna break. I'm not gonna break it, but you know what I mean. And this is much better before if it's, you know, going to goo on, on black stuff that you can clean it. You need tw two hours, five hours to clean it. This is much better to have. So now I have original, but it's so stretched. But again, I can try to find, a, uh, you know, something similar. Let me try to pull this away. Something similar with that. That it's not gonna be stretched. Those are huge. Something, something smaller and nice. Let's see, let's see. Bunch of belts, bunch of belts. It needs to be smaller than the one that you are replacing. This one is where. So how do you know it's gonna be smaller? Put it inside, you see? Mine is smaller. Put it inside. This one is mine new. It doesn't stretch a lot, a little bit. And this one is old and it stretches a lot. <laughs> so all I want to do now, it's maybe I have a bit smaller. So I'm going to try to find a bit smaller if I have one. Not bigger, of course. Those are bigger. A bit smaller. Couple contenders. Couple contend. Uh -huh. Maybe this one, maybe this one, let me see. Let me see. Which one is smaller? They're gonna be all the same. Maybe the other one is gonna be bigger, who knows? Let's see, they're gonna be the same. They're gonna be the same. I can't put it inside, which means they are the same. And this one wins. Yeah. Let me try to demonstrate. I think I maybe can do something. No. 
know I can because this one can go eha this the other one can go eha the, the one that I'm picking it's much much better than the one that it was now let's put it in a proper position and if it doesn't work properly then we're gonna see I mean I'm telling you I'm working with what I have here uh, maybe I should open another friend fresh fresh batch <laughs> fresh batch of belts and try but I think this is gonna work fine trust me the, the one that we have before it was awful <laughs> yeah zoom it pixel zoom it and, and shake it pixel shake it one day I will have a, you know, proper cameras and everything. But today it's not day. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put it like this. Look, <laughs> look, mom. And then, luckily, when I put this motor back, uh, I would squeeze that belt there, and everything will work just fine since we are here uh, the good thing is to clean this motor i did it before um, i mean the motor i put a couple of drops of oil inside but this white part should be cleaned and the wheels i did it before so i'm not gonna do it again i'm just telling you it's good to know that so let's see if we can squeeze this thing back this is a part that you see this part here metal part needs to go in this board nicely smoothly this hole needs to be aligned with this one also there all that stuff and while you're doing this you have to put the belt mm. The cable shouldn't go that way, cable should go this way. The cable should go, pardon me, this way. Yes, that's the way the cable should go. Now watch on this part. Try to put it, yeah, there. And now, since everything is wobbly bubbly, this is the critical part how I'm gonna put this black belt of this motor uh, as always I suggest to use tweezers tweezers are kind of cool you see just push it push it hold it whoops yep there you go now as soon as I got it there, I'm try. I'll try to 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 screw this screw. Just to hold it until I see what I'm doing. Uh, and that screw is uh, the white one. Yeah, it is the white one. Okay, okay. My. I recently magnetized my screwdriver because it was not holding the magnet. And the other one could be screwed if, if everything is kinda, you see, on the spot. Let's do it here too. So, yep, nothing broken. Yeah nothing is broken I'll put us back here and I guess put those back here now turn it on the other side <gasps> everything fell apart not really just be careful Put it back in a place. Yes. There you go. Uh oh. One of the metal parts parts is 
on the floor. So those huge screws should be now screwed here. One is done. And the other one is done. There's some like a greenish residue around it. It's like uh, some kind of, I wouldn't say glue, but something that would hold the screws. Uh, like in the place, you would find that on the, basically sometimes on azimuth on head. So when the manufacturer uh, find the perfect azimuth, it would put some kind of on the top so you can move the screws easily or they will not be moved in a, you know, like operational mode. So yeah, I think we did it here. And the deck is really in good condition. What basic, one more thing maybe, I mean, there are a lot of things that could be done for this deck if you want to service it more and more and more. But right now I'm trying to see if it works, right? So then if it shows some issue, problem, something, then we're gonna work more on it. But now I, all I wanted to do is to play the tapes. And since we are here, we can clean at least, you know, some of the parts that we know that it's gonna be hard to clean when the deck is assembled. Um, head is not so hard to clean, you know, but those like, a pitch rollers, metal parts, wheels, capstans, stuff like that. I mean, it's clean already, huh? I'm just showing you. <laughs> Let's go back and put this uh, face, whatever it is, cover. <laughs> uh, there is some proper name for it. So watch out where you should watch out here in here try to align it at the bottom and then it's gonna if everything is perfectly on it's gonna just click on the those two latches let's see this one is not proper uh -uh, now it is now it is i did screw up a little bit let's see now and there it is yeah so if something else is not working fine we're gonna come back and fix it so yeah where's that metal part there it is i know that we have a cables going on through metal parts so i have to put those cables back <laughs> uh, this is how it was. Yes. So now we're gonna go and. Oh, look at me! I made a mistake. Yes, I did. Of course, I did. Before you put this plate, you have to screw those back. A rookie mistake. Let's go again. There are two tiny little screws. They're going there. There is a probably noise from my computer fan cpu fan i'm rendering some older videos there is an option probably many of you maybe knows on google called google takeouts where if you are having youtube videos and you didn't archive it properly or whatever you can go and ask from them to make you an archive and then you can download it so right now I downloaded a bunch of my videos because I missed, I didn't properly archive a couple of them. 
So, but the Google, thankfully, Big Brother is watching us. Uh, he made a copy, and now I'm the. It's like a, you know, hundreds of giga, hundreds of gigabytes. <laughs> but hey, after I do that, I use a quick. What's the name of that software? Again, handbrake, handbrake, which will reduce the size of all those videos, and I hope everything will be fine. Now, we, then we have all those metal plates back. Now we can go again. Put this thing back carefully. Put it in the best position. If you see everything is in a good position, then try to put uh, and, and, and clicked. There are no screws here. So we got our mechanism back. Now the question is: Is it gonna work? Hmm. Because last time I maybe missed to put back door on the camera we're gonna do it right now so there are like a some chamber whatever <laughs> what's the name of that like some kind of plastic part that will reduce the speed of the uh, uh. there you go uh, uh. what's the name of this gas gas chamber <laughs> It works like on pressure, so you have a one screw here, you can adjust the speed of the opening door. So right now we don't have spring. <gasps> Big mistake. A rookie mistake. Let's go back. How many times are we gonna make this mistake? Well, if you find the video boring, you can go and do something, something else. Right now, I'm making a mistake, and probably some other people would do the same mistake. So let's try to fix it. Luckily, mistake was again not that bad. <laughs> what we, what we need to do again is to open this cover. <laughs> third time the third time you would break, break something because you're nervous so be careful yeah I didn't break it what happened ah, there is one part that we missed to put back this is the part there is a, a tiny hole here there is a screw there there is a kind of you know part here that you can see so you just put it there screw it back and everything will be fine and dandy. Don't lose anything. Oopsie. I only imagine those people who are fixing those watches and stuff like that. Well, they're, they're using magnifiers and stuff like that, I know, but I am old, I'm not using glasses still. Almost 50, but I see good, I see good, I see well. Because as a kid I wouldn't watch a lot of uh, in the monitor and even if I was using computers, I would have to watch like a, I would play games 15 minutes and then I would watch like go on terrace and watch greenery, something green. So my eyes would be, you know, kind of relax a little bit. That I learned in some magazine, and it helps. It helped me all the time. And of course, when you, before we used to have those old CRT monitors and using for computers, if you don't put it in a proper, you know, like a resolution, stuff like that, your eyes would hurt. Let's put this spring back. Is it like this? I think it's like that. There is nothing else. So let's try it. Zoom it out a little bit. Shaky video, who cares, who cares? Just zoom it, okay. Is it good? It's good. Is it working? It's working. So now you, sh you could adjust this to, to, to open it slowly or fastly. I don't know, who cares? 
Now we got it assembled. I think so. I hope it's gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna remove the transport for a moment. Put this thing back. Remove the secured screw here that I put back just so face, face plate could not fly out. <laughs> and now I'm gonna remove it. Uh, let's see the camera angle. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. Putting it back a little bit, okay. Now we have to put our transport back. I'm gonna gently hold it. Before we do that, maybe I should put this cable first because it's hard to put it when it's inside. Maybe I should do it that first. Yes. Now let's try to pull up this metal part and squeeze the mechanism back in the proper position. There are some marks on the bottom of the... Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, I think this is the proper position. There are screws aligned here. But let's see if we put back the front face, face plate. watch it there are some knobs of course for cold volume and stuff like that wiggle it jiggle it mm -hmm. I'm getting there I'm here yes that's the way that's the way now I'm gonna put back that one. Secured uh, security screw. That one will go first. Okay. Then I'll try to do the one of the bottoms. Just to test the deck. And if everything went fine. Then we'll see the next step. But now I'm just gonna secure the transport. And then I'm gonna connect the cables. This one goes here. Puff. We have uh, one for the, let's move those head. Okay, those for head. Let's put this one back. Perfect. Yep. This one goes here. This one goes here. And then we have those for the head amplifier recording session. And this is a playback section. I think so. Yeah. Should fit. I'm just gonna use my other hand. It's good, it's good. And these two goes here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me put the blue one first. Everything is tiny. Yeah, it is the proper direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are getting there. One more. Mm -hmm. I think everything is back in the place. So now, the only thing that is left is to try. Is it gonna play the tape? 
gonna play tape now. I'm gonna put it back in the electricity. <laughs> Let's take the phone. Oh, wait, it's not working. Oh, it's working. It's just not screwed. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. This is a tough tape. Okay, fast forward, rewind, play, yes, 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 a rookie mistake, here I come, I'm glad, I'm glad, alright, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, first put all the screws back and then I'm gonna check the speed if the speed of the deck is correct yeah it's hard to see yeah As you can see, <laughs> all right, here I am again. This time we have a simple solution. We need to adjust tape speed with putting a screw driver in this hole and using a cell phone app to measure the speed. It should be 440, I got a test tape inside. Let's play it. Not 440. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. nah. Let's see, let's see. That's pretty close. I'll put it down a little bit. It's there. That's it. That's good enough for me. We're gonna test this deck more. Uh, I have to order proper set of belts. This, these, those are temporary, but we'll see. Now I just want to, to, you know, listen a little bit of it. And the uh, belt for playback is kind of okay. It's working just fine, but the belt for rewind and fast forward and stuff like that, it's a little bit, uh, not comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end up this video here. Uh, this deck will be perfectly functional. Soon I'm gonna order proper belts for it. There are two belts. One is very small and one is a regular one. The regular one is actually working since I have a bunch of belts. Uh, to replace it, but the small one is not original and you can al already see the problems <laughs> Maybe I should cook the old one uh, No, I want to replace it with the new belt so this machine because it's like new can work for many years We'll see it in some other videos probably in the future All right, take care